afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Afternoon, uh, Ostek. So today I'm talking about the uh, use of uh, tram signaling TA in controlling uh, retinal bleeding during the retractive surgery for a uh, PDR patient. So before, everybody knows the, uh, we always use uh, TA for the staining of the vitreous and epiretinal membrane during retractive surgery. So we can see it clearly. And uh, so however, why use the TA, inject the TA in the uh, vitre, uh, retract mechanism uh, at the end of the surgery, I found that they can uh, control the uh, retinal bleeding during the surgery. So now let's see what happened during the uh, surgery. Now I will show you uh, the cases. So this is the PDR patient. And at the beginning, we removed the vitreous hemorrhage and uh, uh, peeling the epiretinal membrane. And then you can see the retinal bleeding. So we always use 23 gauge retractomy uh, surgery and wide angle view system. So here you can see the uh, bleeding here, and uh, you can also see some areas of the new uh, bleeding. So at, at the end of retractomy, inject the uh, TA in the uh, vitreous cavity, and then you can see TA particle can adhere the uh, blood and form the clot and just cover the retina and especially for uh, the bleeding spot. And then you can do it clearly. You know, if, 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 the, uh, if there are no more uh, TA particle and you cannot see the epiretinal membrane clearly. So here we just use the uh, retract the micarter and uh, absorption, the uh, uh, TA particle and uh, blood clot and the cutter and absorb, the cutter and absorb, and then finished. So let me see another case. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, uh, okay, for, by one, yes, this is another case. Um, first of all, we remove the uh, vitreous, and then we do the uh, vitrectomy and the peeling and the cut the epiretinal membrane. And at the, at the beginning, we do not inject TA, and then you see what happened. So when we peel this, this part, it's okay. And then we peel another side. So however, after we peeling the first part, you can see the hemorrhage will open, occur this area. You see this area, hemorrhage. So we peel another side. Leave it there, don't worry about it the uh, hemorrhage, and then we inject the TA. Okay, we inject the TA. So you can see TA particle can uh, adhere the uh, blood and uh, form the uh, very thick membrane, and then you just uh, use the uh, cutter to absorb and peel, absorb and cut, that's it. No more hemorrhage again. So this is only used for slight hemorrhage. So, so what happened? No more hemorrhage. So no more hemorrhage. Just use the back flash needle, okay? Let's see, and do the laser treatment. So, okay, this is the result. Uh, you know, wh wh what's the reason? I, I think TA is a member of the glucose uh, decoid and can make the platelet and uh, fibrinogen accumulated and then result in the high condensation of the blood. And T TA particles can uh, adhere the blood and form a clot and just cover the uh, retina, and especially for the uh, bleeding spot. And then you can see the vitreous cavity very clearly and it just finish the surgery, it's very easy. See, so uh, take home message, TA has a limited effect, not completely or enough, you know. On the, on the managing uh, intraoperative slight retinal bleeding during retractive surgery for PDR. So I think the timing of TA injection is very important. I always use the TA injection at the end of the membrane peeling, and you can see the uh, bleeding, and then you inject the uh, TA uh, and perform the surgery. So the uh, possible mechanism of TA in controlling uh, retinal bleeding should be further uh, discussed or explored. Thank you so much. Uh, anybody have with experience with the trams alone or TA? Yeah? No? No, but I, I, I have a comment. Uh, to me, because I also have a lot of these very difficult late cases with no previous laser, 
Uh, to me, the greatest blessing surgically in the last couple of years was giving preoperative a vast in injection, two or three days ideally before surgery. Bleeding risk is very close to zero. Yeah. I always use the uh, inject the uh, uh, Lucentis something or TA uh, just before the uh, surgery, maybe uh, five days or three days before the surgery. So, however, you know, uh, for some special patients, you know, Lucentis is very expensive, or sometimes you are very busy. So, if you perform the surgery after five days, you can see the uh, proliferation or traction or retinal detachment. I think it's very uh, dangerous. So, however, before the uh, surgery, uh, Lucentis is useful for the uh, active uh, proliferation yeah. patients. Okay, thank you very much.